Hello and welcome to Cracksoid. Today we are going to dive into the world of roam flashing and talk about the difference between clean flash and dirty flash. We'll also show you how to perform both of these flashes on both encrypted and decrypted phones. So if you are ready, let's start. What is clean flash and dirty flash? In simple terms, when you install a new ROM on your phone, you can either do a clean flash or a dirty flash. A clean flash means that you completely wipe your phone and install the new ROM from scratch. This means that you start with a fresh slate and there are no remnants of your previous ROM on your phone. On the other hand, a dirty flash involves installing the new ROM on top of your current one without wiping your phone first. This can lead to compatibility issues and bugs as leftovers of your previous room can interfere with the new room's performance. In summary, a clean flash is like moving into a brand new house with no furniture or belongings, while a dirty flash is like moving into a new house but keeping some of your old furniture and belongings that might not work well with the new house's layout. When to perform clean flash and dirty flash? When it comes to deciding whether to perform a clean flash or a dirty flash, it is important to consider the context of the situation. Here are some general guidelines. Clean flash. If you are switching from one room to another, it's best to perform a clean flash. This ensures that there are no compatibility issues between the two rooms and that your phone runs smoothly. A clean flash also ensures that all your data and settings are wiped clean, which can help prevent any conflicts with the new room. Dirty flash. If you are simply updating to a newer version of the same ROM, a dirty flash is usually fine. This is because the new ROM will likely be similar enough to the old one that there won't be any major compatibility issues. Additionally, a dirty flash allows you to keep your data in settings which can save your time and effort in setting up your phone again. In summary, while a clean flash is always the safest option when switching to a new room, a dirty flash can be quicker and more convenient option when updating to a newer version of the same room. How to perform clean flash and dirty flash on encrypted and decrypted rooms? Performing a clean or dirty flash is easy, but the process may differ slightly depending on whether your device is encrypted or decrypted. Here's how to perform a clean flash on an encrypted device. As you can see, my phone is encrypted and I have installed a custom room called Project Alexia 3.5 which is running on Android 13 and to perform a clean flash, you will need to download the room you want to install. Remember to store it on your micro SD card or pen drive because the phone's internal storage is encrypted and cannot be accessed from custom recovery mode. To begin the clean flash process, reboot your phone to custom recovery mode. You can use any custom recovery but for this demonstration, we'll be using our Orange Fox custom recovery. Once in custom recovery mode, navigate to the wipe section and select the partition you want to wipe such as Talvik, Cache, System, Vendor and Data. Swipe right to wipe them. After wiping the necessary partitions, go back to the files section and select the micro SD card storage. Locate the folder where you saved the ROM zip file, tap on it and swipe to the right to install it. The installation process may take a few minutes so you can fast forward through this part of the video. After the installation is complete, go back to the wipe section and select the format data option. Type yes to confirm the flash and tap on the check mark to format your phone. Once the phone is formatted, tap on reboot system to restart your phone. The phone will take some time to reboot, so I'll fast forward this reboot and boot setup process. And I'll directly show you the encryption status of my device. And as you can see, after the setup is complete, you can find that the phone is still encrypted, but the new custom ROM named as Siberia OS is now installed on my device. So in this way, you can perform a clean flash on an encrypted ROM. Now let's move on to how to perform a clean flash on a decrypted phone and what happens when you do this. So now that we have decrypted our phone and installed the Alpha Droid ROM, it's time to perform a clean flash. To do this, you will need to download the ROM you want to install and store it on either your internal storage or micro SD card. Since the phone is decrypted, you can store the ROM file on the internal storage this time. To begin, reboot your phone to the custom recovery section. In the custom recovery, navigate to the wipe section and select the necessary partitions like Talvik, Cache, System, Vendor and Data. Swipe right to wipe them clean. Once you have wiped the necessary partitions, go back to the file section and locate your downloaded ROM folder. If you stored it on your micro SD card, select that and enter the ROM folder. 
Tap on the ROM file you want to install and then swipe right to flash it. The flashing process may take some time so I'll skip this process for now. Once the ROM file is flashed, go back to the wipe section and tap on the format data section. Here type yes to confirm the flash and tap on the tick mark button to format your device. After formatting your phone, tap on the reboot system button to reboot your phone. The rebooting process will take a few minutes and I'll fast forward through this process. Once the boot setup process is complete, you will notice that your phone is encrypted again. Don't worry, this is normal. When you perform a clean flash on a decrypted phone, the decryption process will be lost and the phone will become encrypted again. It is important to note that simply formatting your phone without flashing a ROM won't decrypt it. To decrypt your phone, you need to flash a ROM file and then format it. That's how you perform a clean flash on both encrypted and decrypted phones. I hope you understand the process so that we can move on to the next section, which is how to perform a dirty flash on both encrypted and decrypted phones. As you can see, my phone is currently encrypted and running Project Elixir ROM version 3.5. In this section, I'll demonstrate how to perform a dirty flash and update the ROM to its successor version, Project Elixir 3.6. It's important to note that you can only do a dirty flash from one version to the next successor version. For example, I'm jumping from 3.5 to 3.6, but you cannot go from an old version like 3.4 to 3.6 directly. Keep this in mind before attempting a dirty flash, as doing so can result in errors and instability. To perform a dirty flash, you will need to download the successor version of the ROM file, which in my case is Project Elixir 3.6. Store both files on your SD card as your internal storage won't be accessible from custom recovery since your phone is encrypted. Once you have downloaded the necessary file, reboot your phone to custom recovery mode. In custom recovery, go to the wipe section and select Dalvik and cache partitions only. Then swipe right to wipe them. After wiping the partitions, go back to the file section and select the micro SD card. Locate the folder where you stored the downloaded successor ROM file, that is Project Elixir 3.6 in my case. Tap on it and swipe right to flash it. Once the ROM file is flashed, reboot your phone by tapping on the reboot to system button. Your phone will now reboot to the updated version of the ROM and this process won't take much time or require you to go through the boot setup again. In the end, the encryption status of your phone will remain unchanged and is still encrypted and you will have the updated version of Project Elixir ROM installed on your device with all your previous data still intact. That's how you perform a dirty flash on an encrypted phone. Remember to only do a dirty flash from one version to the next successor version. Now let's move on and see how to dirty flash a decrypted phone. So as you can see, I have successfully decrypted my phone again and installed Project Elixir ROM version 3.5. Now I'm going to update it to Project Elixir 3.6 using the dirty flash method. To perform a dirty flash, I need to download the Project Elixir 3.6 ROM file and store it on micro SD card storage which I can access from custom recovery. But you can also keep it on internal storage as phone is not encrypted now. And I have already downloaded this file and stored on my SD card. In addition to the ROM file, I also needed a disabled DM Verity Force Encrypt GIF file that is specific to my phone. This file can be found by searching Google, XTA or a Telegram group. I have already downloaded this file as well. Next, I'll reboot my phone into custom recovery mode to begin the dirty flashing process. Before proceeding with the installation process, it's always advisable to take a complete backup of your device data. Also, ensure that you have removed any screen lock pattern, pin, fingerprint, or any biometric sensor that may cause an error while updating. The first step is to clear the cache partition to resolve any performance related issues. To do this, go to the wipe section and select the first two options, Dalvik, art cache and cache partition. Swipe right to wipe them. Next, I need to install the downloaded ROM GIF file. To do this, go to the file section, locate the file and tap on it. I have stored on my micro SD card, so I'll select micro SD card at first and then locate to ROM folder and tap on it. Swipe right to install it. This process may take some time, so be patient and do not interrupt it. Once the flashing process is completed, I need to flash the disabled DM Verity GIF file. This file is essential to ensure that my device's system integrity is maintained. To do this, go back to the file section, locate the file and tap on it. Swipe right to flash it. Now that all the necessary files are flashed, it's time to reboot my phone to the system. 
Tap on the reboot system button. Since my phone is decrypted, I don't need to format it which is one of the benefits of decrypting your phone. After the phone reboots, you will see that it didn't go through the boot setup process and all your data and settings are intact. However, if some apps are not working correctly, you can try for stopping them, clearing their data or reinstalling them. Now I'll also show the encryption status from security settings and as you can see my phone is still not encrypted. Also if you look at the about phone section, you will find that it's now updated to the latest version which is project Alexar 3.6 and it has the android security update of February 5, 2023. So using the Rody Flash method, you can update your custom ROM to the latest version without losing any data or formatting your phone on a decrypted phone. This method is safe and straightforward to follow, making it a convenient option for users who want to keep their data intact while updating their custom ROM. So I hope this video has helped you understand the difference between Clean Flash and Dirty Flash and how to perform them on both encrypted and decrypted phones. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more useful videos like this. See you in my next video. Bye.